Well, it's up for sale again. Maybe this time, it'll be for real. So yeah, you're back with me, cool dude Clem, doing one of my walking vlogs. I thought in today's vlog I'd talk about my neighbours. Yes, still got them. They're still there. I just don't think they're ever going to go. So, anyway, I'm going to tell you how it all started, up to how it is now. Okay, now I've gathered my thoughts. So, a long time ago, and this is before I started YouTube, I had different neighbours. And, to be honest, they were pretty good neighbours. They never really caused any trouble. They never played music really loud. Sometimes they did, did do a little bit of DIY, but, you know... Fair is fair. So there's the mum, the dad, their three kids. I had a crush on one of their daughters, but let's not go there. Yeah, generally they were good neighbours. But of course they put the house up for sale, the place was vacant for a while. And by this time I'd started my YouTube channel. And who should move into this place? Teenagers. First I didn't think much of it, you know, they moved in weren't really doing much. Then, the nightly party started. Every single night and every single day. It went on from like 3 p.m. to about 3 a.m. Nobody should deal with that. Nobody should have to put up with that. And these neighbors, they, they weren't very nice. They... I'm sure if you've been with my channel for long enough, you'll know that I've done videos about them, showed that they torched a car, and it was just the tip of the iceberg of what these people were up to. When they weren't inside, they were outside, getting up to no good. There was one good person who was in that lot, and he's still there now. But we managed to get all of them evicted, you know. We went to the council, got them all evicted, except for the good one, who's still there. And mysteriously enough, after they left, all the car fires stopped. I thought that was the end of it, because the landlord told us that he's not going to let anybody in if they look like the type that's going to play loud music. So I was perfectly okay with that. I thought it was all gone for good. When these bad neighbours left, all the other houses were having parties every night. Every night, the house in front of us, there's a party. The house behind us, there's a party. The house to the side of us, there's a party. All the adjacent houses had parties. You know, it was kind of hard to sleep with all the thump, 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 thump that, you know, people listen to these days. Fortunately, they didn't stay long. You know, one by one they all left and, uh, you know, reasonable people moved into those houses. And my life was good and quiet again. Man, I always slur my words. Good and quiet again. And there's a random person over there. He's probably thinking I'm muttering to myself. So, one morning, I had a really bad dream. I dreamed that I'd been woken up by loud party music playing next door. I could hear Mum downstairs going, Oh no, does it have to be so loud? Anyway, after a minute or so, it stopped and uh, dreamed I went back to sleep. And all throughout the next day, I was thinking about that dream I was having. Random person. I was thinking about how bad that would be if that actually happened in real life. Because if that actually did happen to me, that would be the worst thing ever. It would be my worst nightmare come to life. Little did I know, that was basically a, a prophecy, if you will, of things to come. Anything good in this dumpster? Not really. What can someone throw away some vintage audio that I could repair, like an old record player or tape recorder or something. So yeah, several months went by after I had that bad dream. Everything was still nice and quiet. And an Indian couple had moved into the house. The, I don't mean woo, 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 Indian, I mean, you know, goodness gracious me. So there's the mum, the dad, a couple of kids. They were generally good people. Never had any problem with them. And they'd been living there for yeah, maybe three months or so. Anyway, 
What I didn't know is that someone else had also moved into the house recently. You know, after they'd moved in. One of the foxes in this bush saw one earlier. I don't know if he's still there. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Getting sidetracked. I remember the day it happened. I'll never, never forget it. Friday 1st of November 2019. And this might just as well have been when 2020 started for me. Because, you know, it was bad. So, I went to the toilet that evening, you know, I mean, afternoon, just to do my business, you know, as you do. And I could hear music playing, you know, not loud, just faintly, coming from next door, like it was coming from a small portable stereo or something, you know. Not really bothering anyone, it didn't bother me, I didn't really give it much thought. And I didn't know this was a foreshadowing of what was to come. So, later on that evening, I was on my computer, playing a game, Sonic World, if you have to know. I had some, you know, pretty fast-paced music on the level I was playing, and uh, I could hear these low frequencies. And I just thought that was in the game I was playing. And for the record, I do not play my stuff loud. I play my stuff about as loud as I speak. And that's about it. So, still I wasn't giving that much thought, you know, I thought these sounds must be coming from my game. But of course, when I turned the game off, it continued. Thump, 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 mm. thump, 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 mm. I thought, some, someone's got some machine going somewhere, you know, it's, I thought, maybe it's construction or roadworks or something. They've got some machine that thumping and another one that intermittently hums, because it honestly did not sound like anything like music. So, a little while later, Mum came back, she'd been out for a while, and she came up and she asked me, can you hear music? And I was like, yeah, I can hear something. I don't think it's music though. And she said, no, it definitely is music because it's got a beat. So I thought, Okay, it must be the neighbours who live across the road. They do have a party sometimes. It's very rare that they do, but, you know, once in a while, it's perfectly fine. I can deal with that. I could not believe what she said next. She said, nope, it's coming from next door's house. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I was thinking, no. No, it, 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 could, it couldn't be. It couldn't be. The landlord said we wouldn't have any more no no noisy neighbours. This would be my worst nightmare come true. And sure enough, as I went down the stairs and into the kitchen, I could hear it plain as day, coming from the other side of the wall. I thought, no, no, no! I could plainly hear a loud and continuous repetitive bass line with one or maybe even two notes, accompanied by a thumping noise. And apparently that's what people call music these days. Honestly, don't see how anybody could call that music, but yeah. It wouldn't have been so bad if it was just this one time, but no, it was every single day. And one day, we just decided enough was enough. So, we went to the house next door to talk to this noisy bastard. And the music was so loud that we had to really loudly knock on the door. And one of the Indian neighbours came and answered the door and, um... We asked about the noise, you know, because it was bothering us, and he was like, It's bothering you? How do you think I feel? Anyway, we asked to speak to the person who was making the noise, and... Uh, well, he apologised, because he didn't realise how loud we could hear it, and, you know, after we'd been round to my house to show him that how well we could hear it, he invited me into his room and let me turn the stereo off, and he said, There will be no more music. He seemed nice about it at the time. Someone's got a knee bike there. Not out on mine at the moment, because it's just not really biking weather. At least on mine I don't have to pedal. And yeah, it was about quiet for a, about a week or so. And then it started again. Just as loud as before, just as frequent as before. And this was all getting beyond a joke, so we went to the council about it. And we got this form that we had to fill in about 
how frequent the noise was, how loud it was, you know, what time it would go on and off. And let's just say, because he played it so frequently, that form did not take long to get filled in. I sent it off, and after a few weeks or so, I had some wonderful news. He'd been evicted, and had two weeks to leave the house. I thought, great, he's, he's going. My life is finally gonna get back to normal. No, of course not. Because even after those two weeks were up, he was still there, still blasting his music at earthquake levels. And then uh, a couple of months went by. Now this was around March, um, around May, I guess. It went quiet and heard no more noise, no more music. I thought he'd gone. I was finally getting my sanity. I could feel my sanity returning. I could feel my life getting better. And then one evening, it was Friday the 1st, 2019 all over again. So I was on my computer watching a video and it started. First, I just thought it was coming from the video I was watching. I paused the video to make sure. Nope, it was back. So he hadn't been, he hadn't gone. He'd just been away for a while and come back. It took until the end of August for him to go. That's how long he stayed. Actually, let's go through the woods. So anyway, I thought, he's gone. Finally, my life's going to be quiet again. My life's gone from 100% sucking to just 55% sucking. I can feel my sanity returning. Everything was getting better. And I thought I was rid of noisy neighbors forever. Well, no. Shortly after he'd been banished, and believe me, he tried to get back into that place. Well, we've actually got water in the stream. That makes a change. So it rains so infrequently here. Yes, he's, like I said, he tried to get back into that place and then uh, got really annoyed that he couldn't. New neighbors are moving. And again, they were young people, or teenagers. And they didn't, um, at first, you know, they didn't see much, like much trouble. And so one morning, I woke up early, like I sometimes do, and I could hear music. It wasn't like really bass heavy music or something. You know, I thought it was probably just a loud commercial on on the TV downstairs. Didn't really give it much thought. It wasn't until I went downstairs. I could hear the bass, and I thought, oh no, not more noisy assholes, please, is there no end to this? You know, I thought after, um, the, well, what I, person I call the twats, after, I thought after he'd left, you know, I thought that would be the end of it. But nope. And this happens every morning, and got louder, and louder, more frequent, and longer, and finally we went round to the house, and uh, the quote-unquote man seemed to be quite understanding. He, as soon as we went to the door, he said, no, no, while you're here, music's too loud, we'll turn it down. And for a while, it was, you know, right, he seemed like a nice person. Turned the music down, and we didn't hear it for about a week or so, but then it came back, louder, louder, more and more frequent, longer and longer. And then one day, it just didn't happen anymore. They just abandoned the house. Maybe they couldn't pay rent or something like that. So then I thought, finally, it's over. No more noisy people. So I had so many dreams where, you know, every bad neighbor I've ever had has apologized and said he'll be moving on, but then of course they never do because that's just a dream. So yeah, they just left the house one day and that was good, for, good enough for me. Let's hope we never get any more of them. Yeah, right. So after that, a couple of young Romanians moved into the house where the twat lived. And generally they were okay. I heard them bumping about times a bit. They were all right. Generally, they were so quiet that you wouldn't even know they were there. They never caused us any trouble. My life was finally getting better. Winter was over. 
March was here, temperatures were rising, it was warm enough to go out without a sweater, and I was generally a lot happier. So the temperatures were nice and warm, but not too hot. There were no noisy neighbours living next door. Life was getting back to perfection. And I did not know that that summer was going to be the hottest summer that I've ever experienced. And more importantly, I didn't know that all of this calm was just the calm before the storm. I had no idea that more new neighbours, this time Polish neighbours, had moved in next door. And I didn't know that the peace and quiet that I was enjoying would, once again, soon be obliterated. So, one day, I looked out the window, and I saw a small child playing in next door's backyard. Back garden, whatever you want to call it. you got to remember that I didn't know that these new people had moved in, and I didn't know that they had a child of their own, and I didn't know that that was this child I was seeing. I thought it was the kid who lives across the road. I thought that was him. I thought, what's he doing in next door's back garden? Was he, you know, he's gonna get in a lot of trouble. He was only about four years old or so. So you know, probably didn't know the difference between right and wrong, or much of it anyway. But anyway, generally, to start off with, these Polish neighbors were fine, you know, they didn't make any noise, and just like the Romanians that are there, and still there actually, you wouldn't know they're there. Until one day, that is. Because one day, I woke up early, like I sometimes do. I went to the toilet to, you know, do my business. Because I have to get up several times a night because I'm not white. But if I don't drink enough before I go to bed, don't worry, it's not, not alcohol, it's just water. You know, if I'm not completely rehydrated by the time I go to sleep, I'll have dreams where I'm drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking and it never quenches my thirst. But anyway, so, you know, woke up to do that, and after I'd gone to the toilet and gone back to bed, I, I could hear music playing. Again, I just thought it was something playing on the TV downstairs. You know, I thought, you know, like before, I thought it was some loud ad or something. And like those other neighbours we had, it, it would get louder and louder and longer and longer until one day it just kept going and didn't stop. I could not believe it. I couldn't believe that my Romanian neighbours, because I thought it was them, because remember, I didn't know there was anyone else living there in that house. I thought, no, they were so quiet. Why have they, why have they become noisy? Because, you see, the thing is, because they were young people, because the people had moved into that house, you know, this, this Polish family that moved into the house, because they were young, you know, I thought the dad was one of the Romanians, because they all look alike to me. You know, I don't know one from another. And that was his kid that I saw in the backyard that day. I don't know why I cannot have, like, nice, quiet neighbours for a change. Of course, they're immigrants, and I shouldn't really say it, but... You know, they... People like this, they give immigrants bad name. I mean, I'm not too fond of having immigrants living here, as you know. I mean, I'm fine with just a few of them here and there, that's fine, but the fact that they've basically taken over this town, you know, making me feel like I'm a foreigner in my own country. So, anyway, after one particularly noisy Tuesday, that night I heard a lot of thumping and bumping about. I thought, maybe they're leaving, maybe they can't pay rent. So maybe they're doing a midnight flit like the other neighbours did. Certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I have to speak a bit louder here because some inconsiderate dog won't stop barking as I'm trying to narrate the story. So, I thought they were going. Because it got nice and quiet and uh, there was no banging, no yelling, and certainly no music. I thought it was all over. I thought they'd gone. But no, sure enough, it was back the next week, just as loud as ever. Not just in the mornings, come on all random times, sometimes in the mornings, sometimes in the afternoon, sometimes at night. And that basically brings us to now. 
loud music at all times. Like I said, sometimes in the morning, sometimes during the day, sometimes late at night. And I believe his girlfriend has left him because I haven't seen her or the kid around. And I honestly don't blame her for leaving. He's a horrible person. I just wish he'd left rather than they did. Because, um, you know, the, the mum and the kid, they, they never caused any trouble. It was just him. Bad, obnoxious people who make my life living hell with their music. I don't know why it's them who stay. And I just feel like there is no end in sight. I'm literally on the tipping point here. I'm like a ball that's been stacked on top of the on, st on top of another ball, you know, very precariously balanced. With the slightest vibration or the slightest push is gonna push me over. It just seems like it's never going to leave. It's making me ill. It's the anxiety that I have, you know. Every mi every minute of every day I'm worrying about, you know, when it's going to start. And... Every time I hear low frequency noises, I panic. I think it's him starting up his music again. Constantly thinking I'm hearing it when even when it's not on. I'm telling you though, if he ever moves, there will be a party, but it's not gonna be him having the party this time. It will be me. I will be having a party to celebrate the fact that he's going. And I'm gonna invite all the neighbors around, all the neighbors who he's been troubling, and we're all gonna celebrate the fact that he's leaving. If that ever happens. And a little while ago, I thought things were actually getting better because I saw a for sale sign outside the house, which means, you know, the landlord's put it up for sale and uh, when somebody buys the house, everybody who's living there, including the nice neighbor, will have to move out. And of course, that means the horrible neighbor, 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 will also have to move out. But no, he took it off the market just to make my life unbearable again. I don't even know how many people there are living in the house right now. I think half the population of Europe's living in there, and they're all still there, including that self-centered, obnoxious tosser. Oh, dead bird there, but not step on it. I mean, my ideal place would be some nice, quiet, secluded cottage in a woods somewhere, or maybe I could live out my fantasy and emigrate to a jungle and live off grid with a solar generated power and still some kind of connection to the internet. No noise from any neighbors because I'd be too far away. Just be surrounded by the sounds of nature. It would be nice walking along this road. If it wasn't for the main road in front of us going all the time. Just hearing the birds and stuff and the wind blowing through the trees which we've had plenty of just lately. I've, I've worked it out. I've worked out why I am here. I've worked out why I exist. I suffer, therefore I am. That's my life. Say I should count my blessings, but when my curses outweigh my blessings, what's the point? That's a bit of a shame. The kids' fence isn't rainbow colored anymore. I could have done a better job than that. Mm, it's all over the place. Some nice lumber here. It's been left. I wonder if any of this is worth taking. You never know. Mm. I'm not gonna bother with it. Look at the state of this place. What's that? Mm, it's this place. I shouldn't really be looking in this garden, but. These neighbors here, they started building a wall and they got to like a third of the way done and that's as far as they got. I mean, they still got all the supplies and stuff there. It's been sitting there for like five years and they haven't done anything with it. I 
house, the other side of the house is just as bad. It's like a third world country. Of course they're immigrants. But, of course, the good news is that house is for sale, next door's house is for sale, as you can see, and hopefully it's for real this time, hopefully I won't have to put up with that obnoxious neighbour. Anyway, finally, just to show that I am still working on Star Kids Episode 8, I haven't given up on it, I've got the drawings for several of the scenes done, and I'm going to scan them in with this scanner that I fixed when I um, got this out of the shed only to find that the uh, um, the glass was all broken so I replaced that with the glass out of another scanner that is beyond repair and it now works just have to put something on the top of this while I scan because the lid for this is long gone it's now scanning Ta-da! We have a Nathan. Oh, yep. Yeah. I've got a lot of work to do, so, uh... I'm gonna get on with this. And... Until next time... Goodbye.